Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. On my channel today, I'm just going to update you guys on my next projects, which will be that vlog that I want to do to take that mirror um, detail to my girlfriend to put it on her fireplace. I also want to make a fireplace my nephew requested a fireplace for his apartment he got his first apartment and he's always wanted one of those fireplaces so you'll get a chance to see me create that for him I'm also going to be going back to doing the divine nine HBCU sororities and fraternities historically black colleges historically black colleges and, uni and universities, that's what HBCU stands for. And HBCUs have nine top sororities and fraternities. So I've already started four of the dials. I have five more dials to do, and I'm working on dial number five. All right. And I am, oh. I showed you, I did a video on a reef that I did that I will be uploading, a reef that I did for myself this time. I will be uploading that video within the next 24 hours because I have to go back in and edit. Um, what else am I trying to do? Oh, and you know what else? I'm going to show you guys how I make my mosaic um, glass candle holders. Hold on a second and I'll show you which what I'm talking about. All right. This is what I have here. This one. There's a light inside. I use the battery operated or you can use Let me bring this camera down some. Looks like a real candle's lit up in there, doesn't it? So that's one. This is what the bottom looks like. Okay. This one is a holiday one, seasonal. This one you see is a little messy inside. It's because I, I use real candles in this one. It looks better when it's shiny, but I'm going to light it up for you with a real candle. Guys, when I started making these candle holders, the gems used to pop off. <laughs> All right, and this is how this one looks. Like I said, it looks way better when it's dusted up and clean and shiny. But when I first started making these candle holders, guys, I used hot glue. And I learned how to make these from a young lady that I watch, and her channel is called Your House A Home. I mentioned her before when I first started doing videos, I mentioned her. All right, with this light, with this candle holder, I have trim on here. On the bottom, this is a candle holder, a vase that I glued on, and I use the dark gold, and this is the gilded gold. I call it the gilded gold, the color, the shade of gold this is, or like an antique gold. And in this one, I use lights. You can't see them too good. These, I need new candles, but I use. string lights battery operated string lights it has a nice little glow let me see if you turn it off turn that one light off you can see it a little bit looks really nice when it's cleaned up and sitting out and you're trying to trying to create that mood all right this one over here out of the way and the last one is this one Let me bring it up a little bit more, back it up a little bit. Mm, I'm trying to, 
there. Okay, this is how this one turned out. Let me bring it up closer. You see, I have some little beads hanging around up the top, also, and some bling around the edge here and here. This one also, I have batteries operated lights inside. You can always put the candle holder in, but what I was going to say was when I first started making these and I used hot glue instead of E6000, that's before I learned about E6000, which gives a more permanent hold. Honeys, let me tell y'all, put the candle, put real candle up inside of there in the glass. And laying up in the bed, and I'm enjoying the reflection and the glow from the candle holders because of the colors and all. And y'all, I heard ping. Then I heard another ping, like maybe like 15 minutes later. I got up. I didn't know what the, where that came from. So I went, didn't pay it no mind until the next day. You know, the candle blew out. And I realized that the candle holder was missing a couple of, of gems. Come to find out, and then I did it again. What it was is the hot glue, it expands from the heat. When the glass starts getting hot, that glue expands and the gems just ping, they just shoot off like somebody throwing something. I said, I said who's throwing something in here? <laughs> and uh, turns out it was the hot glue. Couldn't withstand the heat from a tea candle. So when I got the E6000, um, that made it a whole lot better. So when I do sell the candle holders, I always throw in a tea candle, a set of lights, and or some real wax candles, tea candles. So, And when I say tea candles, I, I meant to say the battery-operated tea candles. I usually put um, the battery-operated tea candles and wax tea candles or a set of lights. Mm -hmm. And I also put in lights according to the color of the um, the candle holder. If it's a red candle holder, if I have red gems, gems, then I use red light, yellow light, the green lights, the blue lights, the orange lights, clear, you know, white lights. Then they have those ugly, I don't like those fluorescent, bluish looking lights i like warm warm quiet warm and quiet but anyway this is what this candle holder looks like so yep when i uh get to that i will definitely let you guys know that's another project that i'll be doing and I am up to 8 minutes and 45 seconds so i'm about to cut this video short because i don't like doing long videos doing a lot of chatter chatter and on and i just wanted to give you an update on the next projects that i'll be doing over the next couple of months which is the sorority dolls the divine nine fireplace and mosaic candle holders all right guys so if you like the content that i've been coming up with for my videos so far please give me a thumbs up subscribe like, share, and comment below. Let me know what you think. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell thing. So the next time I upload a new video, you will get to see what I got going on. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.